Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Saeed Ali Madanadmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss in multivariable calculus how we can sketch the region of integration for double integrals, how we can reverse the order of integration in double integral, and in the end, we will evaluate this integral. This integral is from exercise 15.2, question number 52, Thomas Calculus, 12th edition book. In order to sketch the region of integration, we need some boundaries, and these boundaries are obtained from the limiting values of the variables. In this question, the limits of y are square root of x over 3 to 1, and the limits of x are 0 to 3. In order to get boundaries, we will equate our outer and inner variable with these limits. Our outer variable is x, and the limits of x are 0 to 3. So from here, we get x equal to 0 and x equal to 3. x equal to 0 is the equation of y-axis. x equal to 3 is the equation of a vertical line, which passes to a point along x-axis where x equal to 3. For from y, we have y is equal to x over 3 square root. This is actually the equation of pa half parabola in the first coordinate symmetric about x axis and open right world. And then y equal to 1 is equation of horizontal line. In the beginning, we will mark x axis and y axis with dotted lines or dashed lines so that we cannot get confused with the coordinate axis in order to sketch our region of integration. After that, as yx is involved in our limits, so we will dot it. These are our x coordinates, y coordinates, and 0, means x axis, y axis, and 0. We have marked them. After this, I have marked x equal to 3 and y equal to 1 points. Now, this is the line x equal to 3, a vertical line, y equal to 1. A horizontal line. This x equal to 3 line is passes through the point where the value of x axis is 3, and this line passes to the point where the value of y axis is 1. And this point, their point of intersection will be 3, 1. And this is our x equal to 0. Please note that y equal to 0 is not involved in our boundary, so we left it as dotted. In the next step, we have plotted the half parabola in the first coordinate, this one. And then we will highlight our region of integration. After highlighting our region of integration, we will move on the next phase, which is the reversal of order. Reversal of order means we will interchange our inner and outer variable. So interchanging our inner and outer variable, we get x as our inner variable and y is our outer variable. Now we cannot simply switch the limits as we change our inner outer variable because the limits of inner variable may be constant, may be variable, but the limits of outer variable are always constant. So we cannot switch the limits. So we need to calculate new limits through these boundaries. X, x is our inner variable. For our inner variable, we will use arrow technique. In this arrow technique, we will pass a horizontal arrow through this region of integration, this arrow enters through the boundary, look again, x equal to 0 and exit the boundary y is equal to square root of x over 3. So from these boundaries, we will get our limiting values of x. So x equal to 0 through this boundary means from y-axis and from the half parabola, we can simplify this equation by squaring both sides and calculating the value x, we will get the value of x as 3y square. After getting the limits of inner variable through arrow technique, we will calculate the limits of outer variable. For outer variable, we will always check the range of our region along that particular axis. This, for this region, our range along y-axis is 0 to 1. So our outer limits are 0 to 1. In the next step, we will evaluate the limits. In the next step, we will, after evaluating the limits, we will solve this integral. In order to solve this double integral, in order to solve this double integral, we will always solve the inner integral first, and then on the outcomes of inner integral, we will apply outer integral. So I have isolated the inner integral with the help of brackets and changed its color so that we are focused here. In the next step, we will solve it. With respect to x, e raised to power y cube is constant. We can take it outside of the inner integral like this, and we are left with dx only. In the next step, the integration of dx is x for the limit 0 to 3y square. 
we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus to solve it upper limit minus lower limit so we have limit from 0 to 1 e raised to power y cube 3 y square dy please note that the derivative of the power of exponential function that is y cube is 3 y square which is available here as a multiplier so we will integrate this function as e raised to power y cube limit from 0 to 1 in the next step we will apply the limits upper limit minus lower limit we will we have replaced y with 1 minus y with 0 now this gives us e minus 1 which concludes our this question thank you so much for watching allah is